gradients and trigonometry. Now I want to refresh our memory here about the unit circle from our previous class. The unit circle has a radius of one. So no matter where I take that line from the origin at zero, zero, to the edge of a circle at any point, that is the radius of one. And as I also said, the x-axis will be the cosine and the y-axis will be the, be the sine. So in other words, the x-coordinate will be the cosine from the origin to where that line drops down. And then the vertical height will be the sine, that angle. Also a refresher memory that when you go around the circle, the circumference is a radial measurement. It's constantly making a tiny turn, constantly. It's not a straight line. And the circumference is found by taking the radius and multiplying times 2 times pi. 2 pi r is the circumference. So if my radius is 1, then the circumference is simply 2 pi. Now the arc length is that distance, that radial distance around the circle. Now if I go all the way around the circle, that is 2 pi, especially with the unit circle, I go quarter of the way, that'd be pi over 2, because halfway is pi, 1 pi. 3 quarters of the way is a half a pi and 1 pi, 1 and a half pi, or more common one is 3 pi over 2, and then all the way around back to its beginning is 2 pi or 0. I want to refresh your memory here. What we're looking at here is a circle which has well, uh, the x-axis and the y-axis here. And where the x intercepts the y, we got a right angle here. And that's 90 degrees. That's why from at the x-axis in the very beginning up into the vertical axis of the y-axis is 90 degrees. And we have that right angle right there. Then there's another right angle, and that goes from 90 to 100, 180 degrees. There's a third right angle going from 180 degrees to 270 degrees. And then there's a fourth right angle here going from 270 degrees to 360 degrees, or back to the original point where it started. So 90 degrees is going to be that pi over 2. 180 degrees is pi. 270 degrees is 3 pi over 2. And then 0 degrees or 360 degrees is 2 pi. Now, as we've seen, we have a ratio. All the way around the unit circle is 2 pi which is also 360 degrees around. And we simplify this by saying pi over 180. This is my proportional ratio. And if I know this with, this is the radians or where the pi is, and then this is the degrees, I'll put D here, for the degrees. Pi radians, or one complete pi is 180 degrees. Two complete pi is 360 degrees. So given I have a proportion here, I can now figure out what the measure in radians, basically pi's, is for 60 degrees. I got pi over 180 equals x over 60. And what I'm going to do is I'm going I'm to multiply both sides times 60. Because we're doing algebra. And this cancels out, and all we're left with is x on the right, and then 65 for 180 on the left, which is 60 goes in both 60 and 180, pi over 3 times. So it's pi over 3 is 60 degrees. Similarly here, what is 150 degrees? 150 degrees, I don't, I don't know how many radians that is, but I got proportion here, pi over 180. 
equals x over 150. So I'm going to multiply both sides times 150. And here and right here, basically doing balance with algebra. Those cancel out. I'm left with 150 pi over 80. And 30 goes into both of those. 30 goes to 155 times. It's a little pi left over in the numerator. And 30 goes to 186 times. So it's 5 pi over 6. Similarly, I can do the reverse of this as well. As long as I have the same proportion, I can see what is the arc length, the radial length, by pi's. And I've just flipped the 180 over pi here to make it easier for me to calculate my x, but it really doesn't matter which direction you go, as long as you're consistent with your unknown in the proportion. So that's what 180 over pi equals. I don't know how many degrees it is. And I know, though, it is going to be 5 pi over 12. So I'll just reverse here. 12 over 5 pi equals x. I mean, uh, 180 over pi equals 12x over 5 pi. And I'm just going to multiply this up here. I want 5 on both sides. Be 5 times 180 on this side. And then divide by 12 down here. Same as dividing by here. And I'm left with 180 times 5 pi over 12 pi. Pi's cancel out. 180 times 5 divided by 12 is 75 degrees. Similarly, I've got 180 over pi equals, I'm looking at this because I want to know how many degrees 13 pi over 6. I'm going to reverse it here 16 x over 13 pi multiplied the reciprocal of them, 13 numerator. 16 the denominator, so I'm left with 18 times 13 pi over 16 pi. Well, this pi's cancel out. 8, 180 times 13 divided by 16 equals 146.25. Finally, I want to cover the quadrants in the circle here. There are four quadrants in a circle. Quad meaning four. And in quadrant one, that's where our cosine is positive and our sine is positive. And that is the same as where the x is positive and the y is positive. It also takes us from zero to nine degrees or from zero to pi over two, which I've shown here in the first row. In the second row, this quadrant two. It is a negative x, negative cosine, positive sine, or positive y. That goes from 90 to 180 degrees. And that goes, and that's from pi over 2 to pi. Here's pi over 2 all the way to pi. And that goes, from, again, from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. Then from pi 3 pi over 2 another half a pi that goes from 180 to 270 degrees and that's have both negative sine and cosine negative x negative y that's quadrant three and then finally in quadrant four we've got positive x positive cosine and negative sine or negative y and that goes from 270 degrees to 360 degrees. And from 3 pi over 2 to 2 pi.